Hello everybody, welcome to Free Range Art Farm. My name is Thomas. Uh, so today we are down in my little pottery room uh, because, well, it's inside. And I'm gonna do something where I kinda needed a surface and an area that I didn't mind getting a little messed up. So what we're gonna do today is I have um, some flow frame, flow supers. If you're not familiar with those, I'll put a link maybe down below. Uh, to the um, full hive people, <clears throat> but it's kind of an easier way easier way to extract honey um, However, some people have complained that the bees don't like to actually use the flow frames and fill them with with honey so one of the ways you can Get the bees more attracted to it is to coat the frames. It's just plastic frames uh, we're gonna coat the plastic frames with some beeswax. So I'm gonna try and do that today. So what I've done, since I don't have any actual beeswax of my own, so I just went on Amazon and ordered some 100% pure beeswax little pellets. And I went to Walmart and for like 20 bucks, I bought this little skillet that actually has a pretty low temperature range. So I'm gonna set it to about, just to warm, which is about 190 degrees. That should be enough to melt the beeswax without burning it. I've got a little little roller here, and these are the frames. So I'm just gonna get the roller into the wax and then roll the wax onto the frames somehow. And we'll see how that goes. Okay, so first things first, I'm gonna go ahead and turn that on, get that warmed up, rip this open. I'm not sure how much wax I'm going to need, but we'll just pour this in. Um, I think it's already melting. Alright, we'll try. How much should I buy? I think about two pounds of it. Yeah, two pounds. And I'm going to use maybe a third of it. We'll start off with that, see how that goes. Let's zoom in, you can see, you can see we're starting to melt already. Yeah, that works pretty well. All right, so I'm gonna talk about the flow frames for a second. So if you're not familiar with these, uh, what this is, is these actually kind of alternate a little bit. Let me get in the frame. These alternate a little bit, and there's a key you can use, a big long metal thing, that you twist it and it moves these, offsets them, and then the honey, the capped honey, will flow down to the bottom of this, this frame and come out, actually it comes out this side. There's a little thing here you take off, and then it just flows right out, which is kind of cool. I mean, you can see that it this way. And you can see that these are angled the way that the bees like to make them. Um, there's gaps in here on purpose so the bees will actually wax those and get those all set. Um, there's gaps in there so that if there happens to be a bee in one of these cells when you twist the thing it shouldn't crush the little girl. So these are supposed to be good for the bees. Oops. And um, a little bit easier way to extract honey. So we think we're gonna actually get some honey this year, so I'm getting these prepared. So what I'm gonna do is, let's see, I'm gonna angle these upside down so that when I roll on the wax, it just kinda goes on the surface. If I have it this way, when I roll the wax on, it'll kinda go down into the, the cells, and I think I wanna try and avoid that. So we're gonna do it this this way. So we'll come back in a minute when the wax is all melted and ready to go. All right, we're back. We're gonna try this. So I've got a foam roller brush. It's probably not the best thing to use, but it's what I had laying around. So I'm gonna double check, make sure these are pointing down. We're gonna try not to knock this onto the floor. That would've been fun. Roller doesn't really roll very well. All right, let's do the other 
side. Set that up against the wall. And let's do the next one. Make sure I get this angled the right way. That seems to be pretty good. So I'm going to blast through these real quick. And uh, I'll keep the camera rolling in case I do something stupid. Um, but we'll uh, do a recap at the end. Alright, so I don't know if you can see, but it's just, just a little bit of wax on the surface. That hopefully will be enough to entice the girls to come up into the Flow Super and fill it up with some nice honey. And that's pretty much it. Uh, I've got six more to do because we bought two Flow Supers. Uh, so I'm going to knock those out real quick. I think I have plenty of beeswax. Uh, so we'll see how this actually turns out. Uh, hopefully this season, maybe in about three weeks. Uh, right now it's April 30th, 2021. Uh, so we're letting our bees build up. We had to get all new bees this year because we lost them. So hopefully they'll be built up enough where we can put a super on maybe maybe by the end of May, hopefully in about three weeks, four weeks. And then we'll have June and into July for them to fill them up. So we'll see, maybe we'll get some honey this year. Uh, I will keep you guys informed. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you guys next time. Be good, be well, be happy, be kind to the bees. Um, that's about it. We'll see you next time again. Bye guys.